Good morning, Fishbox friends. It's Monday, and I normally record on Saturdays, but Jonathan's actually coming to work today on a Monday. So we're gonna put him through his paces and show him what a real hard day is like because Mondays are the busiest days. They are the hardest days just because there's so many packages that get delivered here and I wanna see how he holds up. So uh, got a couple cool things planned and I get the store ready in the morning because he's showing up around 10.30 and it's, it's nine o'clock now. So we'll make some coffee and we'll start the day on the right foot. So I hope y'all doing the same, having a great week. What's up, man? What you been learning so far at Fishbox, man? I've been teaching about, I've been learning about investing and watches, and it's mm. been really, real good so far. Good, 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 good. Glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear. It. How was your weekend? It's been, it was a really good week. I even went to the mall with my friends. Yeah, did, you, did you buy anything? No, we just went to go see the movies. What shoes you had on? What shoes I had on? Uh huh. I think I had Nike Air Max shoes on. Oh, okay. None of the new ones. No, not yet. Which, what movie did you guys see? We seen the Sonic movie, but we weren't really paint watching it. Oh, the Sonic movie? Was, is this the second one or the first one? The second one. Oh, okay. All right. Cool, 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 man. Well, welcome back to Fishbox, bro. It's going to be a good day today, all right? All right. All right, YouTube. Some exciting stuff just happened. So I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I went to Orlando uh, a few months ago for a training. And unfortunately, we didn't get approved yet for what I was trying to get trained for, but more on that coming soon. But I did get approved, or I did get introduced to another company named iPostal One, which is a virtual mail company. And they actually sent me my first customer today. I signed up about a week ago, and then I did training on Thursday, and today is Monday. So that was actually pretty quick. So anybody on the fence about it? I just got all my 1583 information and I got a lot of information about the customer to get them already signed up and it was really easy on my end. Haven't gotten any mail for the customer yet, but at least want to let y'all know that things are moving forward. We officially, officially, officially have the new service, which is virtual mail. More on that coming soon, but wanted to let y'all know that we finally got our first customer. All right, Jonathan. You know what a drone is? A drone? Yep. Yeah, I heard a drone. Okay. You know one day Amazon's going to be delivering packages using a drone, right? Really? Yep. One day there's going to be drones that pick up one of these packages and it's just going to carry it, fly it over to you and deliver it right from some type of blimp in the sky. But that, that's years down the line. I think that's where we're going to go. So in the meantime, we're going to we're gonna create our own fish box drone. Our own fish box drone? Yep. So we got this. So I need you to open this, put it together, get it to work. Let me know what you need if you need a battery. So open it up. Okay. And put it together, we're gonna put it to some use, all right? Yeah, I can do that. All right. All right, so Amazon just pulled up. Amazon just pulled up here and USPS just pulled up. We're gonna put these packages away and and do like a little time lapse for y'all. Yo, Amazon, we appreciate y'all, man. Oh, yeah, Thank no you. Problem. Thank you, man. <laughs> We back. All right, so we let this thing charge. How long do you think it's been? Like 
30 minutes at least. It's been at least 30 minutes, right? So that should have a little bit of juice in here. So let's let's turn this thing back on. And let's see. Let's see what, what can happen. All right, give it a shot, bro. All right, so I'm an idiot. We just did like five minutes worth of stuff and I didn't record any of it. The important part is, is that Jonathan said th this is a lot busier than it was on Saturday, right? Yeah, a lot busier. A whole lot busier, but you feel like you can get through it, right? Yeah. So we got some food. We got some food for him, a little steak, and some rice and beans and one chip. <laughs> That's crazy they did that. And then I got some carnitas here and a little sauce. So I'm going to let Jonathan rest for a little while, enjoy his lunch, and we'll see him later. All right, bro? All right. All right, man. Good work so far, man. Thank you. All right, bro. We back. We had lunch. Stomach's full now. Got your energy back. Now it's time to get this thing going. All right, so I think we're going to have to flip this guy over and turn it on. You see the little switch on the bottom? Yeah. All right. There. All right, go ahead and set it down. All right, I'm messing around. Let's see what happens. What the? Is it on, is it on C? Yeah. What the heck, man? What the heck is wrong with this thing? Do you know who the manual is that? The what? The manual. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's good idea, good idea. Let's check on that. All right, so we're back. So the next thing that we got to do is that, Jonathan, we got a, a customer wants us to send a, a bunch of mail to her. She doesn't live in Philly anymore. She lives in Cali now. So we got to get all her mail, put it in a box, take it over to the USPS store, get a quote to see how much it would cost. And then we have to let the customer know. And then when they let us know that they'll take the cost, then we have to ship it out to them. So what I need you to do is take all the mail. Uh, I'll get it out of here. We have all her mail in here. We'll stack it up, put it in, in an envelope somewhere in here, which I'll find. And then we'll ship it out to them. You think that's something that's something you can handle? Yeah, I can handle that. All right, cool, cool, cool. Take all, take all this, all these here but be careful because this can rip really easy so you want to take all those put them in there put them in there yep what we're going to do is in order to next time i'll have you do this but i'll show you just for now take stick it down pull it tight and stick it down here and press Tape it over just for a little reinforcement, you know? Jonathan, I'm gonna take this. You're gonna take this to the post office that you went to last time and hand it to them and ask them for a quote. All right, so Jonathan came back. We found out that to ship to Oakland, California from Philly, it's gonna be, for this package, it's gonna be $33.50 with FedEx, UPS $34.75 and priority mail 2450. So what we're going to do is we're going to text the customer and figure out which one they want to select, which will probably be this priority mail one, but we'll send them a message and see what's up. So Jonathan's back. Jonathan, tell me what happened over there. Um, it, it was a bit confusing at first, but yeah. I got, they explained everything to me. Yeah. So that was kind of my bad. Didn't give him all the information. So he went over there. He didn't have the telephone number or the name of the person that it went to. And uh, what other info? Oh, he needed the fish box address so he can have a return address. I, uh, rookie mistake. So my bad, Jonathan. That was completely my bad. I apologize. But you came back with some stuff. What, what do you got? The receipt. All right, so we got a receipt with a tracking number. And the other And stuff. got my credit card here, the most important part. And all this other stuff. So we're good to go. Thank you, man. You're welcome. That's part of running a startup is that you need to be good at problem solving skills. So you did a good job of problem solving. He called me. He got me the information, I got him the information, and then we finished it up. So, good job, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we got one more project for him, maybe two more before the end of the day. He's been doing a great job. Uh, the next thing that we have is this package here. I won't show you all the label. Hold on. This package here. But this package was delivered. So this package, Jonathan, was delivered to Fishbox by accident. When the UPS guy came, he gave us this package that was meant for somebody else. So since it's not our package, we need you to take this over to the person that this belongs to. It's just a, about a block away. So we're gonna take this sticker, tired of missed packages, and it's a promo for a fish box. So we're gonna take that sticker and we're gonna stick it on here. So 
So stick it, stick it right next to my hand, right, and cover up that target label, that target thing. Right here. Yeah, it's cool. So we'll stick that there, so that way when we send this to the customer and they see our stuff, maybe they'll think, you know what, those guys and girls over at Fishbox are pretty cool. Let me give them my business. All right. So Jonathan. This address here, I'll show you exactly where it is. You think you could take this over there, knock on their door, and, and deliver it to them, and explain to them that it got delivered to Fishbox by accident? Yeah, I can do that. All right, sounds good, man. Jonathan is now the UPS guy. At least he looks like one. And he's gonna deliver that package to that address, and let me know how it goes, all right, bro? All right. All right, man, I'll see you in a little bit. All right. All right, he's back. How'd, how'd it go? It was good. They were actually waiting outside and even said that they reordered the package because they thought it got stolen. <laughs> nice, nice. Did you tell them about Fishbox? Yeah, they were asking where it was at. Ah, nice, nice. So we might not get a customer from that, but maybe they'll say, you know what? Those Fishbox people were honest people. They brought our package over and maybe we'll consider giving them their business so that they won't miss a package anymore. So thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate you, man. You're welcome. All right. So you've been trying this all day trying to get this thing charged up but we're gonna give it the last chance for this drone if we can charge it up we'll use it if not we're gonna throw it in the trash so all right bro i saw something green like i'm not gonna lie when i when i when i flip this switch watch this you saw that green thing oh yeah i see that so i'm not sure what that means i didn't see that before did you see that before no i've never seen that so let's see how this goes all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna I'm gonna turn it on. Let's see if y'all can see that. I'm gonna turn it from off to on. Right, give it a shot, bro. Nothing? No. Use that little button down. What about that? Yeah, nothing. Piece of crap. Trash. You know who? <laughs> My mom, mom, if you're out there, I know you got this from like the, the dollar store or the thrift shop or something like that and you weren't sure if it works we know for sure it doesn't work but if you find another one bring us another one back home i still love you and sign it across hey ma hey son you're on the you you're on the vlog so don't say anything inappropriate <laughs> well i look wait a minute hold on i wanted to show you what uh, my sister gave nolan it's an easter basket you got it at home yeah i'm at home Oh, okay. Well, he'll like that. I'm going to fill it up with all the stuff I have. Yeah, he'll love that. All right, then. You guys have a great night. Love you, sign across. Love you, too. Sign across, Ma. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye bye. Bye. All right. So, we'll go ahead and end the vlog there. Jonathan did another great job today. I want y'all off. Y'all can go to the comments and leave Jonathan some love. Let him know that he's doing a great job, that you guys are proud of him. Just give him a little encouragement because I think it's really cool that he's you know, 14, 15 years old and He's decided to get his own job on spring break week. I think that's really cool. So I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.